so bad. I, I don't know how I even use an iPhone anymore. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, dude. Bro, you don't he even know how to keep your iPhone. Keys. You lost your iPhone. He's lost his car keys. He's lost his phone. <laughs> dude, dude, I, he I got I, stranded I, at the mall. So what? So remind me what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trading. <laughs> okay. So you got. Uh, you don't need to see my screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. What What do you guys want to know? Let's uh right. let's let's get into Q and A. This is what we we'll do, dude. dude. Uh, we will ask the YouTube or the the members. Yep. What you want to see, and I could. What I'll do is I'll go in and bring up a chart. I'll talk about it. Whatever you need to do. I'll yeah, guys. So YouTube bring in your questions, questions right now. You. I'll, I'll, I've got an eye on the YouTube questions and uh, everything else. So, all right, there's David's. Bow, you want to hit that do one? You think it's, do you think it's better to find consistency in paper trading before moving to real capital? I'm just a beginning. I'm just a beginner to find consist. Uh, sorry, I'm just beginning to find consistency on paper using MIC teachings and setups, but have had mixed days in real capital, even though I'm trading small size. I find that I need to build more consistency on paper before moving back to my real account. So all right. what do you think so, is a better direction? So this, this is a good, very good question. And this is what we talk about all the time. So, so think of trading like trying to learn to become a, a surgeon, okay? Because you know what, man? We make pretty much the same as surgeons. I mean, look at Faye. She's making six grand a day, four grand a day. <laughs> and uh, we have Fucking a doctor. Sam here. just made a surgeon's salary in one day yesterday. 200 Gs plus, man. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you know, that, that's the sort of stuff. So people don't realize like, you know what, man? In order to, to make surgeon, doctor money, you have to put in the work, dude. So wh what does that entail? A, a doctor needs to go through, what, 12 years of education? But we don't require you guys to learn 12 years. We require you <laughs> at least to watch one month of videos, right? Get the accelerator. Watch the one month of video. This is what I call classwork, homework. Give yourself homework, man. It, it's like you can't just fucking watch this shit one time and expect to, to, to be an instant trader. You need to put in the work. We've already created the course for you, okay? If you don't want to, if you want to jumpstart, and that's what we call it the accelerator jumpstart, you'd get that. And it goes from knowing nothing about stocks to being able to place your first trade. But it doesn't mean you make money right away. This is all like, okay, I read a book on how to do heart transplants. I can't freaking do a heart transplant, right? I, but the first thing to do is learn the anatomy, learn the body. That, that's what... That's what education is. You have to learn what a stock is, what a bid is, what the lines are, what the resistance, the strategy, all that stuff. And then you get into paper trading. Paper trading is like virtual surgery, okay? You don't have to do anything. You, 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 you paper trade, meaning a simulator, things like that. And so you're working on a cadaver, you know, a, a dead body. You, you, you're going online and, you know, using a dummy, right? So, so I'm, I'm equating this to learning how to be a surgeon. And then after that, holy crap, Chris, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and then after after that, <laughs> hey, someone turn off your notification. That's yeah, that's uh, Tosh. Uh, turn off share your computer sound. Turn that. Um, off. how do I do that, buddy? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Bob. <laughs> no. Bro, is this your? So it's uh. <laughs> so <laughs> under share screen. Uh, oh. so on your. Let me just tell thing. Hunter to stop texting right now. <laughs> Hunter, stop it, damn it. Hunter, stop DMing me during the <laughs> webinar, god damn it. <laughs> I'll Tyler to call you back later, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no, it's under it's so Gotta under share Tommy. screen. I'll, I'll get off this webinar right now. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I have no fucking idea, man. <laughs> All right, well, we'll start. So basically what you need to do is this. You have to educate yourself, right? But education means classwork putting the work, watch the videos, do some homework, man, get a tab. So your tab can quiz you, you know, so basically treat this like school, do that for like a month, watch all the videos. That's what they did. Right. And then you do paper trading along the way you do paper trading. What paper trading is assimilation. You know, you, you, you don't even have to have a program of paper trade, write down your trade. Like look at this stock C R I S. Let's just start like trying to imagine what would you do? Would you short here? Would you buy here? So it's called paper trading. You don't learn, you don't lose anything, but you learn. And then after that, I would suggest you go to like a simulator. What a simulator is, is basically it's using the platform. The platform is not a live trading it's with fake money. And so what that does is this. So paper trading gets you into the, the habit of knowing where to enter, where you exit on paper, right? Like physical paper or mental. And then a simulator actually helps you with the mechanics of trading. How do you push the button? To place a trade. Yeah, hold on, I'm putting a button right now. I'm still eating. <laughs> 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 Get your covers in, bro. <laughs> um, 
So, so what a simulator does, it helps you learn the platform because, you know, just like a surgeon. So a, a simulator for a surgeon would be picking up the scalpel, picking up a stethoscope, things like that, right? So you get hands-on experience with the tools itself, but that's still not going to uh, get you there. So the next step is to go live trading. Once you get comfortable, I would say two weeks, spend two weeks in the simulator. I wouldn't do more because this is what happens, man. If I see people spending a year in the simulator, that, that's all I'm fine, but dude, you're going to form such bad habits during that time because you're going to expect Phil to be instant. You're going to expect you to have no emotional attachment. You yep. expect all these things. Okay. And so if you, if you do something for a year, you will have a bad habit. And so that's why I suggest two weeks only in the simulator and go to 100 shares or 50 shares or 10 shares or whatever it may, may be. So that you realize even with a hundred shares, you cannot fill it anytime you want. I want to fill a Chris at 240 right now. I, I, I can't, but on a paper trading, I can put down anything I want, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so, you can short a million shares at 240 right now. <laughs> Fuck, lost it all. Reload. So that's why yeah. the, that's the danger, guys. I'm telling you right now, man. People don't understand. Like, you can spend too long in a simulator and then you become too chicken to trade. You'll be too fearful. You're like always shaking because now you're losing real money. But if you start with 100 shares, Put some skin in the game. It's okay to lose $20, man. Yes. You know, this is called tuition. It's still cheaper than going to freaking school. School costs and if you, you can't, if you can't afford to lose 20, you shouldn't be fucking trading. Not I mean, yet, at least. Yeah, get your affairs in order, man. Yeah, you got to get your life in order. But if losing 20 bucks hurts, you got to get your life in order. Yes. Or get another job at night. I'm not going to tell you what kind of job, but that's up to you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we understood when you said at night. That was That was... <laughs> An underlying, yeah, we definitely understood that the one. The undertone was How there. How do you want it, guys? <laughs> go be a bottle service girl. <laughs> Dude, go with a bottle service girl. I mean, yeah, there you go. She'll pay your freaking entry. Dude, she don't need to work. <laughs> <laughs> Tosh is still making payments. <laughs> I could probably I'm still making payments to the bottle. I could service probably girl. do bottle service now. I think I have the breasts for it after quarantine. So, so guys, that's the secret, man. That no one's gonna tell you. You want to do the simulator, but you do not want to spend too much time in the simulator. That's what I see a lot of people do. I've been, I've been on the simulator for two years. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Dude, like now, you remember? Girl. I've been, I've been practicing having sex for two years with myself. <laughs> and so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bro, I remember years ago, Bao was like, Dude, using a simulator for a year is like watching porn for a year and expecting to get dates. <laughs> Just get out there and get on hinge. Dude, sometimes, you know, that's the thing, man. You have to fail. You have to, you know, you have to fail in order to learn. Yeah, man, just go on Tinder already. So that's that's okay. So hopefully that answers the question. You gotta have you gotta have Tosh's level of confidence at the steakhouse when he just talks to the chick, <laughs> and she just like goes hi, he, he and we're awesome. just standing there. We're all sitting there staring at him, and we're like, "What the fuck is happening?" I, I, right I plead now? the fifth, man. I do what not is remember <laughs> right now. And me and Bow and Alex and pretty much everyone at the table, we're all just staring at Tosh, and Tosh is just talking to her, just to Bro, make him friends. Bao said the funniest like, thing oh, ever, man. He, dude, Bao was like, when do you start a service on how to pick up girls? <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's the free DVD you get once you join MIC. The it's before July 1st. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The free free hitch. We'll show, we'll show you how to create a, a Trinder profile, a trader for Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, cool. Tosh, is, Tosh is setting up a hitch service. <laughs> well, I answer that. Um, right, next so question. I'm still trading. Uh, oh, wait, maybe that's just a statement. Okay. So to help, what you do is if you're on both platform, guys, copy and paste from YouTube to the channel. So then we yep. can read it. Too. Yep. Nothing mm -hmm. else here. Nothing else there. Bow, why do you use multiple accounts from YouTube? Uh, I, because one broker may not have all the shares I need. Yep. All Simple. right. That's handled. Moving on. Uh, right here, I cannot <laughs> stop looking at the market. I always give back some or all of it back. Um, dude, you got to, I mean, Bao's the king at answering this one, but dude, you got to nail and bail in the morning, do your process and not revenge trade that shit or get greedy. Like you can't imagine how much this adds up if you just hit a base hit or a double every single day. And by the end of the month, dude, look what Alex is doing, man. Look at what Alex is doing with 35K account. It's not going for home runs every day, bro. It's self-discipline, man. That's, that's the discipline to, to wake up at a specific time in the day. That's a discipline to go to the gym. That's a discipline to fucking do your own laundry, do yeah. the dishes before it gets – that's self-discipline. Self-discipline in itself 
that's everything. And if you can't do that, then you're weak minded. Well, and, and like, I'll say it like this, Ring Joe. Strengthen your mind and walk away. It's like, it's like, say you want to lose 30 pounds, right? Or 20 pounds, whatever. Dude, you have to go to the gym every day for months. You can't just go in tomorrow and say, I'm going to lose 30 pounds today by running 40 miles. Like, dude, it's, it's not about home runs, man. It's about a process every day that's repeatable for consistent results. I feel you. Yeah, 100%. 100%. How is day trading changed? How has day trading changed? from five years ago to now. <laughs> Shit faded five years ago. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. Fucking, like, <laughs> five years ago, you could just short the open. With your eyes and then, closed. <laughs> and then just cover it to close, and you were fucking done. Five years ago, OTCs were still fun to trade. Now it's now it's a fucking you know shit show. I, I don't like that question. You should ask me, what's it now, and what's it going to be like in the future? Because what, yeah. what happened five years ago, I guess. Yeah, all we have is now, man. Don't look to the past, bro. What works now? Yeah. 100%. Here, this is what this – okay. Hope we answered that. I was uh, – thank you for answering that <laughs> while I made this trade. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you clicking, bro. I heard you clicking. <laughs> Good What'd you feel? God. 72 covered in 50. Nice. Nice. Very nice. And guys, you see how that's done, man. It's just a nice little scout. Bow pads the wallet, man. This is what we do in it. Outer levels of resistance. Look where Bow was hitting. I'll bring you down a little bit. Okay. Right. Next question. <laughs> Dude, you know what, man? This is, this is what trading is like, guys. Once you learn the process, it becomes second nature and reflex. I didn't have to think about that, dude. I just I don't even, I don't think I've even used my fingers to click. It's something else clicked it, you know? I'm saying just naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's what me and Tosh were talking about in Philly. Tosh was sitting next to me, and we're just watching you trade. And as you're placing orders, as you're doing your process and everything, I lean over to Tosh, and I was like, bro, this is what separates him from everybody else. This is what separates him. I said, it's not that he draws lines better than anybody else. It's not that he picks entries better than anybody else. It's that he trust. has no fucking fear. And he it's trusts trust. the process. That's, trust that's the lines. Exactly he trusts the process. That's exactly right, dude. You, what you need to do is this, man. Like a surgeon, the first time you trade is going to be scary as hell. You're gonna, you may kill a few people, right? But um, so that's why you, you practice, dude. And so what happens is this is what we talk about mental capital, so, so, which is so important. Because you can still trade for 20 years, like Alex and I, right? I've been trading, and then we have one loss day. And it's a small loss day, $5,000, right? Whatever it may be. It's big, but it's relative, whatever. But to us, it's like a day or two of work, right? And, and it just it starts to make you start doubting yourself. So what you need to do is start to put into a rhythm again and put together a few – string together a few wins. So one good trade leads to two good trades, leads to 10 good trades. Like, look at today. I started the day great. And so I kept my process. I stopped out. The moment I started stopping out on one play, I stopped out on the next play. But imagine if you start forming bad habits and instead of stopping out for a small loss, you're always revenge trading, ending into a loser, and then getting, getting rewarded from it, getting bailed out. So well, look at this right here. Happen? Yeah. Look at That's this on DPW. Dude, you got to stop out so you can re-attack it. This is not just about adding and adding and then you're down $2. So let, let, let's go to the Twitter, go to my Twitter, Tosh. I, I, I detailed both of the stocks I detailed. I showed the, uh, go to the CIRS, go to my Twitter and see the CRS. As you're doing that, I'm replacing the trade on DPW. Right here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, check this out. Check this out on what Bow's talking about on CRIS. I'll pull All right, it. I'll, I'll, I'll let Tosh. Talk about it live. <laughs> <laughs> because you know so, what, man? Because Tosh is the main uh, – Tosh and, and Joe, these guys got the process down, man. These are your main mentors when you entered MIC. And so just by looking at this chart, they know exactly what to do. Here, so, here's – yeah, I mean, here's what Bao was doing, dude. He's hitting and he's, you know, he's using resistances that are also – that are already forming – in pre-market, he covers washes, guys, because you have to understand when a stock is up this much, you have to pay yourself. So what Bao did is in the front open, side. Front what's side that, Joe? 
Front side shorts require front side covers. Exactly. And if you draw this line it, where resistance is, is, this is what Bow was shorting into in the morning. So when he's covering on that wash, dude, that's what he's going for. Maybe he has a little bit more short, but look where he has the stop. See this box right here. That's a stop out. So he can attack at the highs, dude. That's the freaking point. The, the, the key is to stop out, guys. This is what the difference between us and every other dumbass service out there. I'm serious, yes. man. You see these guys down $50,000 and they start bragging because it's an epic day because they climbed out of the hole. They fucking like crawled. They, they mortgaged their house. They, they revenge traded a million dollars just to break even. You well, know, here, it's like all over Twitter about it's like, dude, how many times a day do we see this? You don't see a guy for three months. Then he comes back. And he's like, I made 400,000 on HTZ. It's like, yeah, how much did you lose on all the others, man? It's like, yeah, of course you so, made a home run. Well, finally. Hey, so this is what the difference between us and everybody else. We, we want to teach you to be self-sufficient. We want to teach you the good habits. Because I'm seriously, I'm serious, man. Anybody can get Or they ghost and then they... talk about the oil run. <laughs> That's good. They're yeah. like, you haven't heard from him in months. And then all of a sudden they're like, man, you see this Chesapeake? What? Made thousands. <laughs> so guys, yeah. in this chart, look what Bao's doing. He is shorting once a top is formed and then hitting the bounces, this is a bounce right here. He's hitting these bounces. He's hitting these resistance points that are already put in place. And then if they break, he's stopping out to again, wait for the top. And then he's hitting back on dips. Like he's hitting back on pops to cover dips. Like this is what we teach every single day on how to stay safe and even short on the way up. But most importantly, how to take advantage on we, the way. We, we are pro we are the probably the only ones that tell people to use hard stops. Yep. Don't listen to these dumbasses talking about the market maker is going to sweep you and read your shit. It's like, they don't give a damn about your 500 shares. Seriously, guys. <laughs> that was OTC stuff anyway. Yeah. And OTC stops don't really work on OTC anyway. So, um, no. <laughs> but, 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 but that's the thing, man. Hard stops have been the, the reason why we, we have been, been doing very well. Okay. Uh, with a 5k account. What's the good? What's a good daily goal trading 100 shares or 200 shares at a time? I already know what Bao's gonna say. Fuck, dude, you know, not, that's don't the, fucking have a goal. Just trade. Oh God, look at this process. Jason. We always say, do not focus on the money. Eight bucks, Jafin is eight bucks. Dude, remember I said this would unwind all those pumper longs, dude. Ah, uh, oh my God, dude, I couldn't find any shorts, dude. Oh my wow. God, <laughs> I. I, I, I went to my high worth broker and he goes, I only located hundred shares for you. Oh, the hundred shares would have made me $1,000. <laughs> dude, it's, it's, dude, all you it's, had to do was short a hundred at 20 and fucking hold it. <laughs> bro, this isn't even just breaking death lines. This is breaking graveyard afterlife. The oh, next bro, life this is lines, dude. Oh, holy. <laughs> this is 15 minutes ago, man. This webinar has cost me money. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Well, that's okay. So, so that the answer is: do not ever, ever focus on the PL. Focus on the process. Trade well, and then the process will spit out you whatever it spits out. And I'm telling you, man, you'd be very surprised how much you start spitting out once you trade well. What was that death line? Eight ninety. That is eight ninety. Okay. I think the death line was way before that. <laughs> way yeah, before it that, really dude. feels like the death line was at eighteen ninety, nineteen bucks. Huge yeah. necklines right here. Yeah. If it breaks these necklines, you're gonna get a lot further yeah. downside. All right, man. So, so I'll give you, I'll give you guys a great fucking tip for tomorrow, because this is the pattern, man. That yesterday was I M R N. Today's J Finn. What's gonna happen? Don't fucking touch that shit short on the way up. Tomorrow, this shit's gonna start failing because people figure out this pattern. The pattern is once that streamer guy stops on trading. <laughs> <start> trading. <laughs> Once that dude gets off of YouTube, seriously, that's that's, that's what it is. So, but yep. see, you don't you don't look at this, guys. When I'm I look at, when I'm looking at J Fan shit like this, this is this is like a freaking black swan kind of shit. One one off. This is not part of the niche. It's not part part of the process. So this is like don't even fucking worry about this shit because let's say you make money on this one stock, what are you to do is it repeatable? How many of these are going to happen every day? So you find a niche that happens all the time. It's so going to happen like once every three months. <laughs> well, in this market. <laughs> fucking, oh, well, yeah, in this market, it happens once every three fucking days. But we get Chris's almost every day. Like, we get, we get this is a repeat. I keep guy. thinking y'all are, like, talking shit about somebody. Every time y'all say Chris, I'm like, man, fuck this Chris guy. Because <laughs> like, they're like, oh, Chris is so dead. I'm like, damn, you guys are, like, <laughs> like hating on somebody <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> 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 I thought J-Fan was J-Lo's sister. 
<laughs> it's Santa's booty, right? Dude, like, we could even look, look, at the, look at the watch list that we, got, that we post every single day, guys. Look at I am all. I'm not mad, dude. I made all this money, and I'm mad because I miss 100 shares of J. That's the Bro, right? <laughs> this was – look at this. Look at this. This was the first line that Alex said on the watch list is 16 level. Look at this. Scale into the 20 level because you got to give some range on a stock with this much range. That's why we do scaling in. But look at this, dude. Right off, Gene uh, or IMRN, and then we have tons of other examples. This is yeah. every single morning we got. We give you guys a game plan. I'm going. And to what was live. genius? We do a genius. live trade. 100 share to JFin at 1177. <laughs> 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 Come on, baby. <laughs> now you guys know how to squeeze it out. <laughs> I think you maybe need to split it into 50 shares each, you know, just give yourself scale. some scale room. Bro, I think, I think the, I think the, <laughs> Alex is like, okay, I'm at 1176. <laughs> Open the order, dude. Giant position. Oh, that's all they can find me. <laughs> that's all they can find me. It is what it is, right, guys? Bro, 100 shares, this goes to $2. You'll make some money. <laughs> there we go. Oh, shit. He's going to short it and totally forget he's even in the position. He's going to tell us like a month later. Because it's 100. <laughs> I'm doing Jathan. Yo, know, I'm not fucking about full one. What's our shorting now? <laughs> 1077? Yeah. But oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> he's like, all right, fuck it. 50 shares, 1077, another 50. <laughs> Don't give Val any more shares, Chris. Oh, no. 760. Oof, uh, Bro, this is really I, I, going I, back I, to $2. If I checked my email, I would have slammed it. Fuck. If I didn't check my email. That, that, dude, that would have bought me a nice fucking fall for the rest of the fucking month. <laughs> but, oh, right, next man. Question, next question there. Val, put down the Hennessy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> <laughs> take the Hennessy. Uh, where would um, – where should I cover if I'm short and there's an offering? Should I cover at the offering price? Solo, for example, today. Solo. Solo do it. What, is he in solo? <laughs> I don't know. If, <laughs> I think if you're in a thinking. fucking offering and, this, and you're short like this shit, you, bro, it doesn't fucking matter, man. The moment it unwinds, fucking just cover some. You yep. always got to cover some. You got to pay know. yourself, man. Yeah. You have to pay yourself at least half, and then you can decide whether or not to hold the other half and be stupid or greedy. That's up to you. But take half off. The first... The first time it hits, take a quarter off maybe, and then take another quarter off in the second one. Because the first time it tanks, that's usually like a, like a knee-jerk reaction. And usually the first bounce is not going to work. It's usually the second one that, that, that will, will take more. So the first one, don't cover everything in the first one. If you want, take, take at least like a quarter at least, and then the, at least take half off on the next dip down. And guys, this is any major tank. This is not just for an offering. You got to pay yourself, man. That was like like yesterday on NKLA. I was a it, it it was an exact example of when the first wash is not the wash to really cover. No, yesterday, not today. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yeah, that right there. Yep. So look at that. See the big tank, right? Big tank at the open. Shit, J Finn. Holy crap. Big tank at the open, and then you get the secondary, and you get the pop, and then the second wash that's finally where you finally get the bounce is generally after you get that second wash. MKLA is a great example of that. Let me ask any following experts if there was any dilution. I see a two, like a one-year-old on JFIN, though. JFIN? Uh, JFIN's going to be tough because JFIN's an ADR, I think. Oh, my God, sixes. Dude, I said this will unwind that's all the way nasty. back. I knew it. Five shorts. That's just, just put that 890 line back, Tosh. <laughs> put that 890 line back. All right, next you, you, you not, dude, this next is question. this is just, this will go perfect with this, guys. Uh, notice this: the first thing Tosh did was draw a line at eight ninety, because that was the gut instinct. The gut instinct was trust that line. Okay. The gut instinct was trust that level. He drew an eight ninety, and then he draws twelve, and that's it. My next one will probably be at a fourteen because it coincides with this little top right here. Yep. And then probably right there because there's so much range. The tops, man. I'm just putting them at the tops, dude. Yep. I'm putting them at the most important levels. Whole half life. dollars. 890 becomes nine. No reason to be exact with it. Holy shit, Chris is down too. Let's see. 
Oh, well. My God. You know what, guys? Look at the five-minute chart. Faye just yeah. posted the five-minute chart. Jay Finn's five-minute chart. Fucking Jesus. And here's gross. the thing, man. Here's the thing, dude. With lines, it's such an eyeball sometimes, man. It's like, dude, you really want to be long if it breaks that? Are you kidding me? Right. But you know what, man? In the free market, it was, it was $2 a share to locate, man. I, I don't think anybody wants to locate $2 no, a share. No, no. What, Jay Finn? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Screw that, dude. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But then again, <laughs> then, but again. then again, when you can make ten bucks, why not? <laughs> the easy is, to dude, do in hindsight. Hindsight's easy, man. Fuck, I'm all in, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's a, we're give the me all hundred dude, shares, dude. We're the hindsight gurus today. Woulda, coulda, and shoulda. Wait, but you know dude, what, Max? dude, this Val is- wouldn't even hit the bid with a hundred shares. He still wanted to add liquidity. <laughs> <laughs> save. Save. He still save. wanted to add liquidity. Get those rebates, bro. <laughs> He'll get seven dollars a share, but he wants those rebates. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me show you my rebate today, though. Oh my God! Here he goes. <laughs> Here, this is, this is a humble brag, man. Look at him. Oh, geez. A negative number. Oh my Jesus. gosh. I got paid two hundred bucks to trade. <laughs> <laughs> no, just 156,000? That's like nothing for you today. But um but you know what man, I'll tell you right now, man, you it's fun to look at Jay Finn, but but just fucking ignore shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you go broke. That's how you deviate from the niche cuz you're bored as hell making easy money. That this is a problem with a lot of traders, man. We make money so easily when we just stick to the process, but it's not exciting. And so we like to be exciting, right? Oh. And so you look at Jay Finn, you're like, "Oh fuck." And that's how you blow up, guys. Well, and like things like this, guys, like don't even have shit like this on your screens, man. If I'm getting DMs about DUO, dude, yes, it went from 10 to 130. This should not even be on your radar, dude. Look at this shit. Like th- th- these are not stocks that you can repeat all day, you know, every single day a strategy on, man. But, you God, know, that looks like, like an Chris- OTC pump and dump. Yeah, dude, can you believe that? But like, Chris, you can, man. You know what that makes me think of? That makes me think of like ENVV, ZNEO. MGT. Oh, I remember those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those. Those All are right. my favorites. Would you say lines are not the only holy grail? Because there's no holy grail. There's no holy grail, guys. Anything lines? I mean, dude, there's a lot of fucking lines. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking hit, right? And so the lines are the guide, the guide print, right? So what, what, what I always like to do is the easy way, the easiest way to trade is to trade an existing chart. A chart is like a roadmap. Imagine you're traveling cross country. You don't fucking, and and you were either Christopher Columbus trying to discover new territory or I'm waiting for Christopher Columbus to give me a map. (laughs) (laughs) That just sounds so Where the fuck does he come up with this stuff? How do you go? (laughs) That's the thing. Christopher Columbus is like fucking going to fucking, like, what the fuck is he going? So that's an example of wait for the top to form when you're shorting wait for the charts to figure out where the supports are because that's what you're going to base it upon you do not want to be christopher columbus and have a holiday after you but you're dead dude this is christopher columbus and then imrn is the freaking roadmap to the treasure kingdom that he's already laid out yep this is for the a new, new trader which stocks would be a great starting point to practice penny stocks blue chip small caps or something else and by something else I think he means Forex, Alex. So we're going to need you to come on and answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex is like, dude, I can't even bother with that one. Bitcoin? Uh, <laughs> Bitcoin, yeah. We'll teach Crypto, you how to trade Pokemon cards, dude. Forex, oh, dude, I, dude, this is the problem. And once a stock like Chris is broken, I just, just fucking hold this shit. Because it's way under VWAP. When a stock is way under VWAP like that, every single bounce it's going to have a seller. But the problem is this, this thing has not bounced. So, I mean, so this is a problem with trading guys. I get fucking greedy and that's how I lose. Be happy what you got. Be happy, man. You make a thousand dollars. You always want more. You make a hundred dollars. You want $500. You make, I guarantee you, you make a million bucks. You want 2 million. It never fucking ends. That's, that's why you got the billionaires trying to buy bigger boats, right? Than the other by two feet. Just so they can have the bigger boat. So, well, and here's the thing, guys. It's like you're underestimating what an extra hundred to two hundred dollars can do for you daily, man. On like a supplemental income, if you have a job that you love, but you trade an hour in the morning, you make two hundred bucks a day, man. Like, don't underestimate mm-hmm. how much that can change your life. Go spend two hundred dollars a day and see how well you feel, bro. 
Seriously, you can buy any DoorDash you want. <laughs> I've, I've, ordered, <laughs> I've ordered once five times in one day. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, is that dude from DoorDash still here? The guy that you gave uh, oh. the deal for Subway? <laughs> That's a good question. That's I wonder a, if he's still around. Bro, anyway, yesterday, yesterday I had a text from a guy that says he delivered an Amazon package that saw me at the freaking uh, my place. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, I'm getting like trader spottings you know sightings he's he's sounding like hawthorne heights what was that song i'm with my i've got my radio outside your wind or window or some shit like that yeah but he's maybe, like standing there creeping on you but it's funny but but joe remember man it's crazy uh, this guy came to my house when I was, I was in san jose and he delivered me doordash a subway sandwich i basically paid 20 dollars for one subway sandwich i just remember because you bitched about it because you were like i paid 20 bucks for a subway sandwich but i stayed home and made an extra two grand or something like that <laughs> so was... i didn't have to leave my house right and yeah was... <laughs> and, the guy, and the next you know the guy dms me on twitter i'm like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know bro i've been at your i was just delivering the subway at your house bro <laughs> like so what's creepier though what's creepier the dm that you get after he leaves or if he would have just introduced himself in in person i, I think i would have freaked out if he introduced himself <laughs> I'd be like, bro i didn't even order some subways i ordered something else <laughs> Imagine he just comes randomly to my house and gives me a subway sandwich. <laughs> but uh, but but yeah, guys, you, you cannot be greedy in this game. Stick to your process, and if you want to make more money, just part of your process should be increasing your shares, like they did. Right? She starts with five hundred shares. She goes a thousand shares. Now she's up to three thousand shares, and three thousand shares is a shitload of shares to make. You can make six thousand a day, like she's doing. Literally, if you're right. Yeah. You know, you, you don't have to fucking start trading like 50,000 shares to make money. That's the, that's the thing people don't understand. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I just have to read this. So on YouTube, somebody is saying, is how, how come? <laughs> Sorry. <Get it> out, <laughs> how come Farmer Bank's record back-to-back -back days <laughs> over 100K each day going long? Serious question. Next question. <laughs> Who is Farmer Banks? <laughs> I'm sorry. Who is Farmer Banks? <laughs> Mr. Banks. I'm sorry, Mr. Banks. <laughs> Who That's is funny. Farmer Banks? Who's Farmer Banks? I like that. I was choking on a subway from laughing. <laughs> that wasn't a subway toss. You were choking on <laughs> But it was a foot long. <laughs> long. The bottle service. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god, that's good. Man, this is actually turning into a three-way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, next right. question. Next question. Pass on Farmer Bank. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Next question. Are we done. If your guru cannot stop alerting. Oh shit, A V C T. Okay, go ahead. In order oh, to God. make money, here we go. That's when you know they're real or fake. Oh shit. Oh my God. What is this? Nice stuff? unwind. Oh. Look just... at that. Right after the death candle. Boom. 1.3 million volume exited on this. You see, guys, that's the thing, man. The thing is, there's so many stocks to trade right now. And if you try to trade them all, you will fuck up. I guarantee you. So focus on the top three bail, nail and bail those, and then you're fine. You know, I've been trying – my problem sometimes I want to trade them all and I fuck them all up. Yep. You know, it's better just to fucking size up a few good ones than to do a bunch of little trades and then try to, like, trade them all and fuck up. All right. <clears throat> Next, Farmer. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. One comment about the Farmer Banks thing. Mm -hmm. You know what, man? What he does, he, he you know, that, that's basically alerting. It's completely fine. We don't do that. The reason why you don't do that is because, dude, that's not self. You cannot become a self-sufficient trader. All you do is you, you are, hold on. <laughs> you know <what> I'm trading. <laughs> Thank God. You know what I'm trading. But um, this webinar is not going to be done until 6 o'clock tonight. Yeah, they're pumping this all day, man. So they've got 20 billion people watching them. They're yep. buying up yep. the alerts. Yep. And so, you know what, man? You cannot learn like that, guys, because what happens is this. 
you're gonna go, holy fuck, I'm gonna learn his system. His system's to buy shit and he just keeps going up. For some reason, it keeps going up. And so what you're gonna do is you you are gonna go out and find some shit on the scanner and realize, why doesn't my shit go up? How come I, how come every time I buy my shit, it doesn't go up? But how, how come every time he buys it, he screams out on the microphone, it goes up? Yeah, that's because you got 10,000 people. 3,000 people buying. Yeah, oh, 10,000 people. Dude. Crazy. So, you know, that, that's the thing that people don't understand. So it's not, it's not something that's sustainable, guys. Learn Did you see fight. the video from Portnoy where he, he, like, he mentioned like an OTC ticker that's ended with an F? It was a foreign stock. I can't remember what it was. But all of a sudden it spiked like 20% in like three minutes. And he was like, oh, my Did God. I just do that? I just do that? I just made history. And I was like, dude, you've clearly never fucking seen Twitter. Like, <laughs> he yeah, thinks you be like, oh, you remember Kramer back in the day? <laughs> yeah, you remember uh, pretty much everything in the OTCs? So Kramer would, like, when he just started his show, dude, people would just – so this is the trend of trading, guys. Whenever some shit like that happens, there should be a lot of people like myself trying to capitalize on the dumb fucks. That, that you know, eventually it, it dies out. Eventually, all this shit will die out. Meaning, like, people's gonna figure out how to 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 scam the system to find the glitches and all this shit. And the people are already starting out to go out. Look at JFin. Oh my god. Look at fucking JFin. Holy fuck! Some fucking eight ninety line. That was it. Damn. Yeah, but you know what, man? It's fuck it's it. completely fine, man. It's like those are one off shit. That man, don't even worry about that because what's gonna happen is you are going to fucking try to trade that and fuck up and, and just die, dude. Yep. Yeah, it's true. Because today you make, you know, you double your account, you triple it, and then tomorrow you try this again and you're dead. You're dead. 100%. You can always get lucky once, you know? Even a broken clock. That's what she said. (laughs) Any more questions, guys? Oh, shit, dude. I didn't fucking feel. (laughs) When Bao goes silent, he is filling a stock. All right, next question. When you guys first started trading out with real money, was there a feeling of overwhelmment to look at so many things at once and stay clear headed? How did you focus? I still, it still happens today. I I just answered this question. When you, when there's so much shit to trade, be careful. Just focus on one. Wow. Look at DGLY. Just focus on one guys. Focus on top three and nail those. Stop trying to fucking, trying to nail every fucking shit that fucking moves. Was that a chat room alert on DGLY? It has to be. By the Fibonacci retracement. Yeah, here's the thing, man. When you're just starting out, bro, you want to trade everything. I was trading small caps, big caps, ETFs. And dude, you're going to make so much more money if you just focus on one to four tickers every single day. Start with one niche, one strategy. Yeah. And become proficient at that one strategy. Become a master of the first bounce or become a master of... You know, the most def- popular one here is low hanging fruits. That seems to be what a lot of members attract to. What's Alex saying? Tosh, let's do a discount for lifetime members before the price raise. Let's do a coach. To- okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, guys, as you know, we're raising prices, um, come July 1st for lifetime. So, you know, Alex is being super generous, man. We're giving out discounts right now. I mean, really good discounts. So Alex will let me know exactly what we're going to give out, uh, today, but, um, Alex, you got an idea for a secret code or about, you got an idea only for, for former banks. <laughs> Farmer banks. Farmer banks. <laughs> I want text me. Text me at two one three. Here, actually, I'll show it right here. Text me at this number right here, guys. Two one three four five eight five nine nine seven. Farmer banks, and I will know. We will all know, actually. Bow, Alex, and myself, and Joe, that you have stayed to the end of this webinar. This is key. We want the people who are very serious. We we like to take care of the people who are serious. MIC is a community built on very, very, very passionate, um, dedicated traders. So again, you guys just stuck through an hour and a half webinar. We're going to take care of you. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's For, right. Harry is at the dentist and he just posted this. What is this outfit? <laughs> Are those sweats with loafers and ankle socks? Joggers and freaking Nike. Like, and if you zoom in, it's like a, it's like a, it, it, it's like a corduroy texture. Is that Farmer Banks? <laughs> <laughs> this is how I imagine Farmer Banks. Yeah, Dude. that's Farmer Banks outfit to check the mail in the morning. Jesus. Uh, is there GDGLY news? Wow, look at that. Let's take a look. 
Oh, wow. Whoa. Next, that's what happens with a teleport candle, guys. I talk about this all the time. Three this is not just a break of BWAP, man. That is a fuck you to shorts, dude. You got to be Click careful. the news, Tosh. What does it show? Is there anything there? Let's take a look. Sees gross pro sets. Fucking old. It's yep. old, old, old. Just, uh, just a man coming in. Last part of the day. Dude, dude I, I bet day. if you dig enough, that's a chat room pumping. So here's what we'll do, dude. I'm going to focus on this tomorrow at like the 6 and 620 level, maybe 640. That'd be sick. Get this up there. Get it up. Get it up to outer levels, man. Spy's doing good right now, actually. Is it? I'd close my... Okay. Oh, hey, look, going green into the close. Come on, daddy. Come, Come back, to baby. me. Dude, this was fun as hell, man. Did, you, did everybody get their questions answered? Do you have anything else you want us to talk about? Didn't really have a lot of questions coming through on YouTube today, so... All That's good, good there. People just listening to Bao and all his wisdom, yep. man. This is good. They're, they're, they got starstruck when Bao came on. <laughs> <laughs> if only they knew what I look like. <laughs> right <now. laughs> Bao's obviously trading. He's cleaning house right now. He's cleaning all his orders. He's sweeping yep. home. Uh, somebody posted a headline, DGLY moving on legislation being passed requiring all offers to wear officers to wear body cams. I feel like that's old news. There's another one, huh? Another fucking news. <clears throat> moving on not, legislation can... being passed. But yeah, I feel like that's old. that's old. I feel like that's old news. Like that dude, already happened. Dude, get this to 640 tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, they've been talking about DGLY fucking body cams since like the, the, the every the, every 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 time every single uh, one yeah the ferguson was the one and then and then it was like the shootings um and then it, like every time there's some kind of oh there you go body cameras required for all new york state officers mm. Okay, well, dude, that's been a thing in Texas for fucking ages. <sighs> like, body cameras are required in te for Texas officers to be on and wearing them at, like, all times. Like, that's fucking, it's not news. This is uh, pumpable news. That's, that's oh, 100 that's fucking percent. News for sure, given the stated thing. IZEA testing highs. Yeah. Don't touch that. Till oh, tomorrow. my gosh. Oh, wait, not till tomorrow, man. Way too late in the day. Any questions? No questions? When did I draw these lines? Damn, that was spot on. <laughs> Bro, this, this is a good opportunity. So IZEA is the setup that we talk about for low-hanging fruits. This is a setup I taught everyone in the Accelerator series that I learned from Bao's teachings, okay? How to play IZEA. We would have never been in it at this time of the day. And the, all the tips and tricks that I gave that we've all learned and collected from Bao and his observations over the last 20 years are compiled in that course, in that accelerator course. Yep. All you had to do was watch that course, follow the process on IZEA, and you either didn't trade it or made easy profit in the morning. That's the only two things. That's it. Look, I'm gonna try to squeeze it. Three thirty. Yep. DGLY. Oh, I see. Great, man. That'd be great if they do. We'll just have another play tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. The thing is, guys, it's like stop fighting strength, man, and get out at the appropriate times. Look at what happened. Come zombie hour, man. This thing is a just, good question. This thing is just Go a rock. Um, low hanging fruit. I like low hanging fruit setups, but I struggle to pick the right tickers and ending and I end up locating shares that I don't use. Any tips on reducing my locates wasted? Don't locate them all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Tosh's way of, uh, of um, the ones that have the best pre-market volume or the ones you locate. Yep. If something's that, wrapped up that to dude, me is like the best one. Guaranteed locate if something is moving up in or gapping up pre-market that's already gotten slaughtered day one, I yep. will locate everything I need for this. But there are some that are not doing jack shit where I'm like, okay, maybe I'll locate if they're super available, super in quantity, and it starts moving, then I'll locate. But dude, something like this, I'm getting pre-market 100,000%.
But if you have a broker like Cobra, you just grab everything that's free and then you pick the ones that you want to pay for. Bingo. Yep. But if you, if you have trade zero, that's, I mean, cost of locates is just a fucking, it, it's, it, it's, it's a cost of doing business and it, it's a son of a bitch, but that's why I like Tosh's like pre-market volume thing. Like look at the ones with the most pre-market volume that had the most beaten down charts on day one. And then you play those exactly as the process outlines. And then you like, wait for the outer lines, man. Those are my favorite. Boom. Alex put it on IMRN, it. man. Look at that shit. Dude, Just Alex put perfect. it on his watch list. The, the, where you want to start in this stock is 16. Look where it hit. Even if you got a starter, that's two points back to VWAP. Dude, literally. And that's just 16 to 14 in like nine minutes. Meaning, meaning like if you had such a good average at 16 and you get a stuff move like this and then a tank under VWAP, dude, you could literally set an OCO order and walk the fuck away. Yeah, you could just set it and foe get it. <laughs> go get Subway at Bows. <laughs> if, yeah, go get Subway with Bow. Yeah. <laughs> if you're under, <clears throat> okay, maybe never mind. That's, that's just a statement. Uh, let's check the old YouTube, see if we got anything. Uh, you have to pay to locate and borrow. Yes, you do have to pay for locates. Or to borrow tickers, yes. Yep. Uh, with the volume being crazy at the moment, is float rotation becoming less important as a short warning to possibly not trade as everything is doing 100 million plus volume? That's a good question. Is it becoming less important or more yeah. important? Is flow rotation becoming less important? Oh, it's still very important, dude. Always. Yeah, seriously. Yep. Just know, though, in this market, man. It, it, what all the shit that's rotating, guys? Yep. Those are the ones that are getting fucking squeezing every motherfucker. Dude, this, and while that while type of... Go ahead, Tosh. No, well, I was just going to say, while it's always super important, man, again, pay attention to the trend, man. Pay attention to the trend and the demand. There is, in this market, there is more demand than I've seen in a seven-year trading career. Bro, Dude. it's the first summer where everybody's at home and all these Robin Hooders are trying to find shit to do. Dude, yeah, less Dude, important. 80 like, million. Like, I remember important. when something doing 30 million shares in a day, we were all like, holy fuck. Yeah, and, then, and then it did 50. Up. And the next one did 50 and then the next one did 80 and then the next one did a hundred and now they're doing 300 million and then 700 million. And we're like, what in the shit is happening? Yeah. Joe, every candle on this stock is like near damn near a million, dude. Like, yeah, it's insane, bro. Absolutely incredible. Like American airlines does like a hundred million shares a day, <laughs> a day, maybe more like flip to a daily chart and just take a look at it. Look at the fucking volume. 400 million. 54 million. Jesus. 56. Look at that and shit. I'll go even more recent. I'll go way more recent. Yeah. Look. Like 86 million is 68 million, 61. Like what's, what's this day? 400 million. 428 million. million. Dude, yeah. And that shit is fucking unheard of. Unheard That's unheard of, of dude. But what that tells you is not that um the flow rotation is becoming less important if not it's b anything it's becoming more important because yeah. that means the ability for companies that have bigger floats bigger shares outstanding bigger market caps it gives them the ability to squeeze shorts even more used to a 50 million float was hard as fuck to rotate now shit rotates in the first hour Bro, look at this joe if i were to scroll back literally to 2017 dude just look at a random day like this is a big day up, dude. That's eleven million. Yeah, that's a and big that's day. Not a that's a big split day in American Airlines, folks. <laughs> and guess what? The next day was seven five, dude. This one went yeah. from four hundred in this run to four twenty five. You bet your fucking ass, dude. Float rotation is still important. How can you manage day trading with two kids, ages five and nine? Is it possible? Well, oh, I can answer God. that fucking question. I can't answer that, dude. <laughs> I can answer that question. It is possible. It is definitely possible. Uh, my first recommendation is move your trading desk into the main living area where everybody spends the most time. That way that you can keep your eyeballs on those little some bitches, And <laughs> you got to make sure they ain't going to go nowhere and or put them in their room turn the tv on give them some toys close the door if you hear the door open eyes up 
<laughs> oh. Also, you could invest in um, the uh, uh, baby gates, you know, quarantine your children within the home. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Ah, uh, the quarantine. The, the baby Bill, quarantine. Bill Gates? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We done with the questions? I think that's pretty much it, man. Uh, where would the stop be for IMRN if it keeps ripping up? You haven't stopped yet. Uh, I mean. IMRN? Right. Oh, you mean in the morning? Weather. In the morning? We gave the line. I mean, the scale is 16 to 20, so you scale according to that. I mean, So if it's going over that, yeah. Yeah, three bullets, 16, 18, 20. Do it like Bao does and just never stop until it <laughs> breaks the previous high of the day. <laughs> hey, guys, if you, here's a trick. If you do one share, you can probably do 100 ads. <laughs> <laughs> Pro like, tip. Where, oh, shit. Where do you stop out? Well, that looks like a good level. <laughs> right? Yeah, 29 seems like a pretty obvious but Make sure you don't stop out with the herd and you put it in 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, uh, what are the best day trading books? Um, I don't know that there's any good day trading books. I like to, I like reading reminiscences of a stock operator just because I thought it was a good story. But it has really very little to do with like actual strategy. I would, uh, I, I would recommend not reading certain books such as those furus are coming out with the free books that they wrote themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, you're better off a Glamour magazine. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> those things will just give you bad habits, dude. Those things Biggest are lesson that you've learned from trading. Patience pays more than anything. Entry and exit or waiting for your discipline. set. Discipline is the key to, to success when you're trading. Yep. I got to agree with both of them. And that's, also, and and that's also a form of patience. It's so, discipline. So for, the, for the guys out there on, on YouTube that think you have to be a PhD or smart, all that, no, man. You just have to be disciplined. We give you all the strategies you need. You just need to follow the process. Bro, and they're all in the accelerator course. Just freaking text me, man. We'll get you signed up. You will learn in seven hours how to trade. Forget everything you thought you knew and Welcome. watch that course. Welcome to the Matrix. Yep. And once again, man, we're going to have a lot of tools. Like, you can't be a profitable trader making millions in seven hours. But, um, dude, you cannot. <laughs> of course not. But this will get you started. That's why it's called the jump start. It's not saying accelerator, consistent profits. <laughs> Dude, we would have titled it Making Billions in Seven Hours. Making like Billions in Seven Hours. <laughs> in your dreams, yep. Face shooting her shot at you, Joe. Face shooting it. <laughs> Every week, man. Last night, she tried to get me to take my shirt off on the cam. Wait, he whoa, is whoa. a married wait, man. You know this. Wait, wait, Joe makes what kind of videos? What? What? <laughs> what, 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 what what Let's not ask video? questions, Bal. Let's <laughs> back to the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be very careful around here. <laughs> we do not tolerate some videos here guys <laughs> you can find all of those on my tumblr I see it first you have to go through me first so i can approve the videos <laughs> <laughs> oh shit would mre well fuck would imrn considered a back what the fuck sorry i gotta reword this would imrn be considered a backside move today well, it ain't front side. It definitely ain't front side. So, <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah, one hundred percent, brother. That's in the. It, that's in the course, right? That's yep. in the course. We teach all this. How to trade IMRN and exactly how to find the same levels that Alex did. It's all in the course, brother. Everything is in the course or in MIC. We have a watch list channel. We provide scans. We freaking provide live commentary all day. There's a video library list of 800 videos. We have a jump starter course. You have access to our PMs. You can get on calls with us. There's nothing we don't do for you guys. Nothing. Become a member already and stop putting it off. If you lost $200 today, you just lost a whole month of education. If you lost 1890, you just lost an accelerator course that could have you trading for the rest of your life with these strategies. Yep. yep. Which Farmer traders? Yeah, well, well, well last before you, banks. We, we, oh we my God. You guys, so the accelerator is actually coming free for the annual subscription for Before like, July 1st. You, you will have access for as long as you're an MIC member if you sign up before July 1st, annual and lifetime. You don't even have to pay for it. So we're going to give you special after, discounts. After that, we're charging, guys. After that, we're charging, and then uh, the tools will yep. say, 
You guys are trying to make money off your members. <laughs> oh, we give you guys time, man. It took Joe six months to create this freaking course, man. We're giving Which traders do you guys respect and learn from what they are doing outside of MIC? I don't really watch other people. You know, I, my thoughts is I respect my future self for being disciplined today. What kind of question is that, dude? <laughs> I, oh, every, every right? Single, who should I be watching that isn't in MIC? Can you answer that? Oh, come on. Uh, watch the man in the mirror, man. Just be a better yeah. version of yourself every day. Stop comparing yourself to Twitter. You will die. I'm the do. man in the mirror. Bro, it's like, it's like where they say, like, there's always a hotter girl where there's always a more talented trader on Twitter, right? There's always someone with a bigger P&L. Hey guys, okay. the, guys on the, the guys are on. Somebody always with a bigger what? A P&L. Oh, oh, okay. I'm what sorry. did you hear? <laughs> a bigger Subway sandwich. <laughs> so, the guys on public Twitter, I mean, it's public YouTube. If you guys take a look, we are actually, you, Tosh is streaming live within the MIC chat room right now. Bro, this is all live. <laughs> So, so if you, if you, if we had a shitty service, we had shitty education, the members would be here just fucking, you know. Yeah. What, what do you think? These are all paid actors. These are members, dude. Look, we're showing you our main trading chat, dude. This is all live. This is not recorded. We are showing you the ins and outs of how we do what we do every day. Yep. And, and you know what I'm saying? So that says it everything, guys. I mean, no one's ever going to show you inside of their stuff for two hours that we did. Because, you know, I mean, there's always going to be someone that says, you know, you guys are fucking lying. This shit doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing, man. Don't judge a community based on its mentors. Judge it on the success and testimonials of the members. Look at our testimonials page and see how many people are actually kicking ass or learning or it's changing people's lives, dude. Like, it, it's unbelievable, man, what's happening with members. They're, they're just kicking ass, man. Facebook. We don't want to teach you to be a millionaire. We want to teach you to be consistent and to be able to change your life in many other ways. Yeah, to be able to make an title. extra 50 grand a year, to be able to invest in real estate, in order to take that vacation you've always wanted to take, in order to just have the ability to, if you want to tell your boss, birds up, bitch, and walk out, fucking yeah. do it. Because you can support yourself in some other shape. Now, I'm not telling you to go quit your job, but I mean, maybe tell them birds up but yeah <laughs> yeah man. Oh, oh yeah oh dude you don't make 10 million dollars a year you're a furu you don't make 20 million dollars show me bank statements of 20 million dollars a year dude that's yeah. not what it's about you dumbass like it's about learning and process dude and we've got a team of 15 yep. plus moderators to teach you how to do that it's like it's like bow said it long ago he, he was like he was like, I don't need to see people's PL. All I need to see is their ideas and I know if they're bullshit or not. One hundred percent. He's like, all I need to see is their calls. He's like, what was their analysis? And I'll know chart. if it's bullshit show me your chart. or not. Show me your chart, not the PLs, dude. Yep. Show me your chart. Show me your thought process. Show me if you can teach trend and stuff moves and backside and thoughts. That's the thing, that. guys. You, you, people don't understand, man. This is just because someone's banking doesn't mean they're a good educator. No way. No. I mean, that's a big difference, guys. Dude, it's like it's like how many people out there are making how much? Okay, <gasps> how about this, Val? This is my favorite. How many people out there, quote unquote, gurus are out there? They're down forty thousand dollars in the morning. By the end of the day, they're up ninety k, and they're like, "Dude, I fucking killed it today!" And their members got smoked. Look like, oh, how many people died on How many motherfuckers yeah. died on JFin today? Dude, that's not that's not. How do you teach that shit, dude? We're not going to teach you to be a one-hit wonder, dude. We're going to teach you how to make consistent money for the rest of your life. That's, that's their model. Their model is to pump this up. People see the giant p &Ls, They join, and then they lose, and then it just repeats. That's why we – well, before we started MIC, man, if you guys remember, we talked about retention. Retention for me means everything. Retention means that you're doing a good job. Members are not blowing up. People are actually learning. We have, seriously, an awesome retention rate, and that says it all. I don't give a damn if we don't have – 50,000 members like some of these guys, but the fact that our members are not leaving us. Yep. Guys, what do thing. you guys recommend for a starting amount of capital if you can't get over the 25,000 PDT threshold Joe, to start? Joe, let me, let me answer this one. Let me answer this one because I yep. did this in the beginning. So seven years ago, guys, I had seven, um, I had $7,500 to my name seven years ago when I first started. I had the option of going with one broker, but I split it up. 
So if you have a small account, yes, you can start with around two to three grand and that's probably the minimums you should start with. But if you have like only $10,000 and you don't want to go offshore, dude, go to E-Trade, TD Ameritrade and Venom. You know what I mean? Like I'm not telling you exactly those, but you get what I'm saying. Then you're going to have nine or 12 trades a week, depending on splitting your money up. So there are ways to get around. I promise you, man, we will teach you how to even get started on a broker level. Meaning like, dude, if you only have 15 K get three brokerages and throw 5k in each. And now you have nine trades a week. And here's the thing. If you're trading more than nine times a week under PDT, you're over trading. You don't need yes. more. We will show you how to maximize on those nine trades. Dude, it's not about having a $10 billion account. It's not about having need to. 20K a day. It's about process. I don't care if you're trading one share or 1 million shares. We are going to teach you patterns that are definable every single day and repeatable, bro. It's not a big dick game, dude. I'm not competing with Joe. Joe's not competing with Bao. That's not how it works. I mean, we have a friendly competition where Bao competes against Faye because Faye's so goddamn good. But, <laughs> but I, outside, I mean, I, I wouldn't even... Dude. I would get physically exhausted trying to keep up with Val. Like if you guys have will ever if you guys ever make it to a live trading boot camp, you will physically just you're gonna give up. Trust me. You're gonna give up. Drinking, you're not eating, gonna trading, you can't keep up with Val in any way. <laughs> he's a human fucking algo. He's passionate, dude. He's a passionate human being. <laughs> Honestly, on the, on, the, on the topic of the capital thing, and I guess we'll just end it with that, is you don't really even need an account, to be honest with you. No, dude. You don't even simulator. need an account. You don't even need to worry about how much money you have to trade. You don't physically need to trade in order to learn the process. Learn the process, then open accounts. Then Joe, let me, let me say this, Joe. I would rather, guys, if I had $2,000 in my name, I swear to God, and I'm not biased because of MIC, I'm telling you, this is the better approach. I would forego a fucking live trading account. I would get a simulator, invest in my education, get the annual, watch the jumpstart 10,000 times for the first year. I would fucking paper trade, dude, if I, did, if I only had $2,000. And then 100%. Two, I would be so familiar with these patterns. I'd come in and kill it with small size first, then level up organically. And then maybe by year three, dude, who knows who you are, man? You may be the Keep biggest. your job. Yeah. Don't quit your job. Keep saving your money. Spend the 2K on the annual subscription because then you get the jump starter you then you get all the videos then you get access to the chat room you get the ability to learn the process once you have the ability to learn the process then you start saving for your trading account then you do what tosh is talking about and you start paper trading is, is tom diesel here yeah tom's in i think i just saw him. tom's been around tom where you at buddy here because he he did this he drove an uber at night i mean it's very i'm very proud of what he did Dude. You learn, he, he drove an Uber to, to save money. So imagine you get a second job at night. If you really want to do this shit, get an Uber job, it'll make you a couple thousand bucks a month. And there, there you go. Within a year, you may have the money to trade. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tesla's at 1,027. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Wow. Holy shit, dude. Watch Tesla go to 5,000. I thought, I thought that was a scam. <laughs> yeah. yeah all, the, all the Twitter geniuses have been Everybody calling on Twitter. It's a scam. I, I stopped hearing them talk. They just, now, now they just hate. Elon, they don't hate Tesla anymore. They just hate Elon. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking funny, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Now they just hate on Elon. All right, guys. Any other questions? If you purchase the yearly membership, can you upgrade to lifetime for the difference? Text Tosh, DM Tosh. If you're a member, if you're an annual member, just DM Tosh. I'm sure he he'll help you out. will figure something out for me, but um, it is case to case because, you know, obviously- Just, just text Tosh. Tosh. We don't want to, we, let's, let's save those. So any, any question about membership and prices, just text Tosh, guys. Right here, guys. 213-458-5997. Um, Again, that's 213-458-5997. And don't send me dick pics. Text us today. <laughs> uh, you just fucking got yourself a bunch now, Tosh. My <laughs> I know. Don't, don't, don't send hey, me titty hey, pics. Girls, girls, do not send me nudes, please. Don't send me nudes. <laughs> girls, please. Do not send me nudes. Girls, please, no nudes. Please, none. <laughs> and, and make sure you do not send me cash in the mail. <laughs> please don't send me a million dollars. What was that? Bao, didn't you post that something? I need a huge, 
amount of money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I need a hug. And it was like huge amount of money. <laughs> yeah. Hey, some that days you just hilarious. need someone to send you a million dollars. Guys, this was so much fun, man. We, we do this Always every single guys. Man. I'm telling you right now, text Farmer Banks at my <laughs> number. Farmer Banks, that's and, like the greatest and, thing. You guys. Again, man, this is a community of real people, <laughs> real traders. Not one person is better than another person in this community. We are an ecosystem. We are a family. <laughs> Bouncer, when did you start drinking me? <laughs> it's 7 p.m. <laughs> that's like that Herald thing. It was like, I shit my, I take a shit at 7 a.m. every morning and I wake up at nine. <laughs> Bro, this is what bacteria looks like under an electron microscope. <laughs> oh my God. What role was Johnny Depp playing with that face? None, dude. That's his face. Are you serious? <laughs> dude, that's a virus, right? This coronavirus under an electron microscope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jesus. Hey, Joe gets a lot more days than I do. <laughs> HTZ is minus 40%. Oh my oh, wait, god. Real quick, we gotta see. Where is it? I'm gonna kill it. And my the Robin Hooders oh. are dead. <laughs> I need there a hug. Is. Huge amount There's of money. A, I need a high, huge amount of money. <laughs> guys, we love you guys. We just want you to get better. Um, if if you're still on the fence, just text me, man. We'll get you in and uh, we'll figure something out. But you're gonna have a lot of fun at MIC, man. But until next week, guys, this is this has been super fun. It's all right now. All right, Joe. Be safe, man. Enjoy that subway. Later, fellas. Later, guys.